Camden Creative Arts Jazz Band under the direction of Jamal Dickerson. Thank you. So, what we're going to do this evening is a set that honors three musicians who passed away last year. We call them fallen soldiers in music. One is Cedar Walton, a pianist. The other is George Duke, another pianist, and Donald Byrd. So, the Cedar Walton piece is arranged was arranged by Daniel Spearman, and he put in that three selections. One is Bolivia, the other is Cedars Blues, and Firm Roots. Then we'll play George Duke's No Rhyme No Reason, arranged by Alexander Cummings. And our final piece, tonight we're dedicating this piece to a young lady who's in the audience, one of the grandparents of one of our band members. Her name is Shirley Shelton. That's Shirley Shelton right there. And she's a lover of Donald Byrd. She came out this evening just to hear her granddaughter in the band play that piece. And so that last piece is a Donald Byrd piece from bebop to hip hop. So we're going to hear a little bit of Donald Byrd's music when he was in the bebop era. Then he moved into the Blackbirds with the funk era. And then you're going to hear a little bit of folks who did some, uh, some vamping of him, some biting of him, they call it, sampling uh, in the hip hop and the disco era. So. This is, that last piece is entitled, Let the Birds Soar. Hopefully you enjoyed our set this evening. Thank you so much. How about a big hand for all of the bands thus far?
all of the students who participated tonight to give a big round of applause to the director. And also, I would like you to give a big round of applause to the people who are behind you every day, transporting you to school, to competitions, and so on, and supporting you in your music events. Your family, your family. And this evening, I feel very honored to be filling in as MC for a gentleman who has worked for this organization, the New Jersey Association for Jazz Education, for many, many years as this festival director. You have no idea how much work behind the scenes goes into organizing the preliminaries, five nights of preliminaries with 40-some bands and three nights of finals. It's a tremendous amount of work. And for many years, this gentleman has done this. And I think we owe him a great deal of credit. And, and how about a big round of applause for Mr. Dick Graham. Our tabulator tonight Ms. Gary Snyder, and he's from Pennsville and teaches at Penn's Grove. I got that right, right. He teaches music at Penn's Grove. He was a student of Dick Graham's, and Dick calls him daily as we're going through this week to find out how, uh, you know, how the evenings went, and he wished that he could be here this evening. But we're, we're going to send him a tape, so he'll, he'll hear some of what was going on this evening. So, um, keep Dick Graham in, in your thoughts, and just remember, we wouldn't be doing this without all his wonderful organization of all of this, and he loved doing it too, he really did, we owe a great deal for that. All right, let's go on with our awards. First, we are going to do our ratings, and we will do it by the way the, um, the groups performed this evening. Highland, with a rating of silver, We need a representative to come. Highland. Princeton with a rating of silver. <laughs> Mainland, a rating of silver. Seneca, a rating of bronze.
rating of gold. Cherry Hill West, a rating of silver. Silver. A rating of bronze. <laughs> Cherokee, a rating of gold. Jamal Dickerson the second on trumpets. section goes to Cherokee. Yeah. 